in here is the news at four. First, the highlights. Lagos State AIDS Control Agency organizes HIV AIDS Annual Operational Development Plan Workshop. Nigeria Customs Service reopens land border in Kebbi State. On the 14th, former United States of America president describes election as most important date in history. Helen Sports Nigeria arm wrestlers clinch more gold, finished with 13 medals at the 2023 Arm Wrestling Championship in 13th African Games in Ghana. And now the details, I am Akan Usen. Lagos State AIDS Control Agency, LSACA, in collaboration with the local health system sustainability project, LHSS, recently organized a dynamic two-day annual operational development plan workshop. The primary objective of the workshop was to develop a comprehensive annual operational plan that will serve as a roadmap for monitoring and evaluating the implementation of the 2021 to 2026 state HIV and AIDS strategic plan aligned with the national strategic framework. The strategic initiative aims to assess the effectiveness of the state's HIV AIDS response and ensure the efficient utilization of the agency's limited resources for targeted programs. Speaking at the event held in Lagos, the chief executive officer, El Saka, for Lake Animation, emphasized that the annual operational plan goes beyond mere documentation as it is a vital tool for facilitating the rigorous monitoring and evaluation of the state's progress in combating HIV AIDS. The Special Advisor to Governor Son Wulu on Housing, Barakat Odunuga Bakari, has urged relevant stakeholders in the built sector to comply with the state real estate laws and housing regulations to maintain a balanced and sustainable growth. Delivering the keynote address at the Property Investment Conference, Pre-Invest 2024, with the theme, Navigating Real Estate Dynamics, Balancing Rural to Urban Migration, Population Growth and Economic Impacts, Held recently in Lagos, Odunoga Bakari underscored the challenges posed by rural urban migration and its impact on Lagos State. The special advisor who stressed the importance of managing migration effectively, citing its potential for socio-economic development when properly handled, also cautioned against the negative consequences of unmanaged migration, particularly in exacerbating the already significant housing deficit in Lagos State. Odunoga Bakari reiterated the commitment of the Lagos State Government to address the housing deficit and curb fraudulent activities within the real estate sector, saying that the establishment of the Lagos Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Lazrera, is one of the proactive measures put in place to regulate the sector effectively. The Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA, has organized a symposium with the theme Inspire Inclusion to commemorate International Women's Day in Lagos as part of activities to commemorate that day. In her opening address, the Executive Secretary of DSVA, Titi Lola Vaivo Adini, said the year 2024 campaign theme underscores the crucial role of inclusion in achieving gender equality and calls for action to break down barriers, challenge stereotypes, and create environments where all women are valued and respected. She stated that March has been specifically reserved to celebrate women all over the world, adding that the program was designed to help raise awareness of the kind of stigmatization that exists and encourage inclusion for women and SGBV survivors. It addresses the different facets of stigmatization and its effects on survivors and society. In her address, the chief consultant psychiatrist, Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Yaba Fumilayo Akiola, spoke on the mental health of survivors, stressing that most victims usually develop different mental health issues. 
pardon, like depression, anxiety disorders, and suicide ideation. While responding, a survivor, Luatosi Shoyodi, gave an insight into how the most hurtful type of stigmatization is the one from family members. Shoyodi pointed out that religious organizations should take the lead in setting policies and action plans towards domestic abuse of their members. Eboy State Governor Francis Uwefuru has approved the extension of retirement age and length of service for teachers in the state from 35 years to 40 years. This was announced in a statement signed by his special assistant on new media, Leo Ekene Oketa. According to him, teachers in the state will now have the opportunity to serve until the age of 65 years and have a corresponding adjustment in the length of service to 40 with immediate effect. He said the decision to extend the retirement age and length of service for teachers underscores the state government's unwavering commitment to investing in human capital development. According to the governor's spokesman, by retaining experienced teachers in the workforce for a longer duration, the quality of education is expected to improve significantly, thereby enhancing the overall academic performance and future prospects of students across the state. And now to the rest of the stories. In compliance with the directive of President Bola Tinubu on the immediate reopening of the land border with Niger Republic, the controller, Niger Customs Service, Kebi State Command, Ihana Cho Ojike, has reopened Kamba land border. The border reopening was aimed at paving the way for legitimate trade that will impact positively on nation building, not permission for the importation of prohibited items that would threaten the economy and compromise national security. OJK said men of the command are ever ready to facilitate legitimate trade and act within the ambit of the law to simplify trade across the Kamba border seamlessly as long as stakeholders import what is permitted by customs extant laws, make proper declarations and pay appropriate duties to the federal government's coffers. The district community had commended the efforts of the federal government while emphasizing the new wave of hope the border reopening will give to his people who have an interest in cross-border businesses. Operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, have arrested a 20-year-old hairstylist, Josephine Odunu, and a 30-year-old dispatch rider, Edesemi Iboro, for selling and, distributed, and distributing pardon, innocent drug-laced chinchin to school students and at social parties in Yenogwa, Bayosa State. The development was revealed... By the spokesperson for the NDLEA, Femi Baba Femi, in a statement detailing the weekly arrests of suspects and drugs seized by the anti narcotics agency. Baba Femi said the officers on patrol around the Okolo area of Yanagua intercepted the motorcycle dispatch rider, Edesemi, and recovered 200 grams of chinchin produced with cannabis sativa, which while he was on a mission to deliver, which he was on a mission to deliver to a buyer. In a similar development, a total of 343,000 pills of opioids were seized by NDLEA officers from a suspect, Lawan Abubakar, in Katagum, Bauchi State, and another 64,000 pills of tramadol recovered from Muhammadu Rabiu by the Nigerian army. And now to foreign news. Former United States of America President and Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump says the November presidential election will be the most important date in USA history and painting his campaign for the White House as a turning point for the country. Trump spoke during a Buckeye Values PAC rally in Vandalia, Ohio. Days after securing his position as the presumptive Republican nominee, Trump warns of a bloodbath if he is not elected, though it was not clear what he was referring to, with a remark coming in the middle of comments about threats to the U.S. auto industry. The 81-year-old, who has waved off concerns that he is too old for a second term, leaving his rhetoric with humor. <laughs> And now sports. Nigeria's arm wrestling contingent continued their stellar performance at the 13th African Games in Ghana, culminating in an impressive tally of 13 medals as the competition drew to a close. 
Leading the charge was Sarah Matthew, whose remarkable display of skills saw her triumph over compatriot Blessing Ogumbure to claim the gold in a fiercely contested 70 kilogram category, while Ogumbure settled for silver, adding to Nigeria's medal haul. Adding, adding to the gold rush was Olubisi Oyewusi, who showcased unparalleled strength and determination to secure the gold in the women's plus 80 kilogram right hand category. Winifred Ndidi showcased her prowess by claiming the silver medal, further highlighting Nigeria's depth of talent in the sport. Chika Blessings Bronze in a 55 kilogram women's right hand category, and Idowu Abiodo Yunusa's bronze in the men's 65 kilograms right hand event. Added to Nigeria's bronze medal count, Samal Neka's bronze in the men's 85 kilogram right hand category further solidified Nigeria's position as a formidable force in African arm wrestling, capping off a remarkable campaign for the Nigerian arm wrestling contingent. With four gold, two silver, and seven bronze medal in their medals in their possession, the Nigerian arm wrestlers have left an indelible mark on the Accra 2023 Arm Wrestling Championships, showcasing their skill, strength, and unwavering determination on the continental stage. Just before we go, maintain adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X, formerly Twitter, Traffic Radio 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Songwulu administration introduced the Lagos Economic Acceleration Program, LEAP, to reduce the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on small businesses? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government's website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State AIDS Control Agency, LSACA, in collaboration with the Local Health System Sustainability Project, LHSS, recently organized a dynamic two-day annual operational development plan workshop. In compliance with the directive of President Bola Tinubu on the immediate reopening of the land border with the Niger Republic, the controller, Nigeria Customs Service, Kebi State Command, Ihan Acho Ujike, has reopened Kamba land border. We also told you that former United States of America President and Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump speaks during the Buckeye Values PAC rally in Vandalia, Ohio, saying the November's presidential election will be the most important date in U.S. history and painting his campaign for the White House as a turning point for the country. And in sports, Nigeria's arm wrestling contingents continued their stellar performance at the 13th African Games in Ghana, culminating in an impressive tally of 13 medals as the competition drew to a close. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to Lagos Traffic Radio at lagosstate.gov.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Adiswa Ejoka. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good afternoon and happy Sunday. Thank you.